it is. It is hair removal day. Today I am going to share a remedy that you can use to inhibit your ear growth. This ear removal is something that you can use at least two to three times per week to control the excess of facial hair. Now when it comes down to facial hair, most of us have facial hair. And as a matter of fact, all of us has facial hair. It's just that some people have more facial hair than they would like. People have peach fuzz, which is the one that make your face look a little fuzzy, and those are easily removed. Now, when it comes on to females having facial beard and facial sideburns and excess ear on the upper lips, these are what we're trying to get rid of because in most cases, it is embarrassing to the individual. Personally, for me, I have excess chin here that I am not so proud of. So what I do, I make remedies to control my chin here. Right now, if you look at my chin, you might think that, oh no, she don't have chin hair at all. But the honest truth is I do, but I control them. Now, so if you're looking for a way to control that facial hair, to have your face looking clean and clear and free from hair, then continue watching the video. Now to make this remedy here, we have the cornstarch. And we're gonna use cornstarch because once the cornstarch is dried on the skin, it's gonna have to release the hair from the hair follicles. So we're gonna start using about two tablespoons of the cornstarch. So the first thing that we're gonna do with our cornstarch we are going to turn it into cornstarch gel and to do this all you need to do is add hot water to it make sure the water is to boiling point so we're going to start off with about two tablespoons of the hot water and this definitely need a little more we're going back in so about a quarter cup of hot water pour this in and you want to work really really fast with this so you're just gonna keep mixing until the cornstarch form a gel like consistency like what I'm showing here nice and jelly if it need a little bit more water go ahead and add it make sure to get rid of all the lumps there you have it your corn starch gel and now that our corn starch gel is ready take a look at this this is how you want it to be and now we're gonna put it aside and we are gonna work on our egg white now there are many different ways to extract the egg white you can pour a small hole here there and just blow it out or the quickest and the fastest way is to just crack your egg like this this is the way I personally like to do it and just work it from side to side like I'm showing here and there you have it your egg white separated so here we have our egg white and what we're gonna do if you look closely I'm not sure if you could see it here we have the eye of the egg and a lot of people are not aware of this but there's the egg eye and that is this is what would form an embryo if the egg was going to be fertilized so if you remove that whenever you are making your remedies then the egg won't smell as you know strong I think so now here we have our pure egg white and we're gonna whisk this you can choose to use an unwhisk or you can choose to just whisk it with a fork the old school way it don't have to be totally flagged out just keep whisking now once this is done we're reaching back for our cornstarch mixture we want to be generous with this one we're going to use about two tablespoons of the cornstarch mixture Add it to the egg and we're gonna blend the two together totally whisking the cornstarch and the egg white together and this is gonna take a while but just keep mixing now this is a large egg you really don't need a large egg for this and small egg will do the trick 
Now, guys, remember, if you have a whisk, go ahead and whisk the two together. You want it to be spreadable. And this look about right. Now the egg white and the cornstarch is ready to use as is, okay? So you can actually go ahead and use this as is or you can actually choose to add a little bit of uh, turmeric powder to the remedy which is going to further help to eliminate the hair. So just a dash, you don't need a lot and we're just going to whisk this in. The turmeric powder is really optional but you can use it since it has to inhibit hair growth and it does not disrupt the properties of the egg white and the cornstarch. So mix and mix well. And now this is ready. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it to get rid of your facial hair. Now here is the remedy and I had set this aside for about an hour or two to let the turmeric infuse. And now I'm back in and I'm whisking this up. Now you can use a brush to apply this or you can just dig in and use your hands to apply it. So make sure it's clean skin and once you put it there, you're just going to rub it in like I'm showing here. Rub it on. Make sure it goes deep in. We're rubbing it on. We're using up that cornstarch and that turmeric. Now once you rub it on like that, you're going to go back in and you are going to put a thicker layer over it like I'm showing here. I don't have a mirror guys, so I'm just winging it for you. So put it on like that. And once that is done, you're going to leave it there. You're not going to rinse it off right away. You're going to let it dry on the skin. And this is going to take about half an hour or so. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let mine dry. And then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like after it dry and then how to remove it. Now after 30 minutes, take a look. And now it is ready for removal. Now at this time you can choose to wash it off, preferably with room temperature water or a little bit of a warm water. Once you washed it off, then you're going to pat dry and apply a little, a little bit of a tea tree oil, leave it on, and then you apply your regular skincare products. Now this is good to use at least two to three times per week for best results. And there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and your comments are always welcome. So comment, comment, comment. And if this was the first time watching, you want to see more of these videos, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video.